Hey guys, so as promised, there's two videos up this week, and this one is going to be my high school and university experience video. Lots of people have been asking, especially the university part of it. I'm just going to talk a bit about my experience. If you guys want to hear about it, I'm going to just talk about boys, partying, choosing subjects, bullying, how to save money, all of that kind of thing. It's probably going to be quite a long video, so I'm going to try combine it all and just make it as quick as possible. So let's just hop onto it. So basically in Australia, well at least in Victoria, high school is year 7 to year 12. Year 7 I was going to this small country town school. There was about 10 people in my grade and there was three of us girls, so me and like two other girls. Because I just moved from Melbourne to that small country town, I found it very hard to make friends. Nobody wanted to be friends with me because I was the new girl and I was, they thought I was like a city kid and all that kind of thing. So in year seven, I actually didn't have any friends. The only friend I had was a really bad influence that got us into trouble a lot of times. So about halfway through year seven, my mom and even me decided that I should stop being friends with her because I was getting into a lot of trouble and getting told off by teachers. So about halfway through, I told her I didn't want to be friends with her anymore. She was a bad influence. And then she ended up moving a few months afterwards anyway. So that I guess that didn't really matter. But I spent the rest of year seven <laughs> friendless. Didn't have any friends. I had no one to talk to. I had a part-time job at the time, so that was nice. Um, I also played netball with a few girls on the weekend. We weren't close or anything, but at least it was nice like having some form of friendships with people. But yeah, that was basically year 7, and then year 8, I started to make friends with these girls I played netball with. They were also the year below me, so when I was in year 7, they were in grade 6, and that's why we didn't know each other really well. But when I was in year 8, they were in year 7, and at my school, they put year 7 and 8s together and year 9 and 10s together. So we ended up forming like a really nice friendship that year, and I thought it was really fun because I wasn't used to having like a group of girlfriends. So we'd always have sleepovers and obviously we played netball, we'd always go to the pool. Um, we also played tennis together, basketball together, volleyball together. Like, yeah, it was just really, really fun. I loved year eight. We went on a lot of school trips together. I just have really fun memories of that year. Year nine and ten were a little bit different because they stayed behind with the new year sevens, if that makes sense. And we were forced to be friends with the girls above us. In the grade above us, there was about nine girls I think and there was no boys in that grade all girls so they were all best friends we found it hard to be friends with them since they already had their group so it was basically just us like the three girls and there was like eight seven or eight guys in my grade one of them being my brother but yeah we kind of just stuck to our own thing we used to hang out at lunchtime and we were really really close so it was really just nice and they're all still really good friends to my like of mine to this day and then in year 10, we started doing VC. I studied Health and Human Development just because it was the easiest subject and I wasn't ready for like VC yet. And then in year 11 and 12, we moved to a different school. Half of us went to other schools. There were four schools around us, so we kind of separated. But me and my best friend went to the same school. So we met like a bunch of new girls and that was really nice because then we had like two lots of friendship groups. But the only problem in that school was that it was a lot bigger, so there was a lot of bullying. They would always like laugh as we walked in the room or they would write things about us on social media. We would, if you wrote your status or posted a photo on your own MySpace or Facebook, they would like show the whole class or read it out to the whole class. They just really, really tormented our group. But we tried not to let it get to us considering they're bullies, so yeah, just don't really pay attention to bullies because the more you pay attention to them and the more you let them get to you, the more they're gonna do it. Like they're gonna feel satisfied if they know that they're getting to you. So just try and like not let it get to you. And as for making friends at a new school, because I have my best friend, it was always a lot easier. I can't imagine doing it by myself because I'm not an outgoing person, but I think just mingling and just trying to think of things to say will at least help the situation and playing sport, like we played a lot of sport in, in high school. So yeah, year 11 and 12 were pretty good, minus the bullying, everything else was really good. Um, partying started happening, but I wasn't a big drinker in high school. I didn't really like to drink, so I'd only ever have one or two at parties, but there were a lot of parties at my school because everyone lived on farms, so there was always like just huge parties full of hundreds of people. 
and yeah, but I was the kind of person to just stay on the dance floor and dance. I wouldn't like get drunk or go off with random people or anything. I just love dancing. Don't let people pressure you into drinking if you're not ready to drink. Like it seriously does things to your brain. You don't want to wake up sick or you don't want to embarrass yourself, especially at a new school. Up to you. If you want to drink, you drink, but don't let anybody pressure you. Remember that part. Well, I got asked what subjects I did, so I studied health, biology, psychology, PE, history, English, and maths. I did seven subjects. It really makes me five, but I just wanted the best chance to get the highest grade. My number like one tip for high school: don't put too much pressure on yourself to get the highest grades. Like unless you need it, if you need like a 98 R to get into your course, I guess you have to kind of push yourself. But even if you don't get the ATAR, there are a million and one ways to get into your courses. Take courses, online courses, just there's lots of different ways you can get into them. Don't put pressure on yourself. Like really, really, really enjoy your 11 and 12. Enjoy being with your close group of friends and going out with them and doing girl things and just partying or having sleepovers and stuff. Just don't put too much pressure on yourself because really, at the end of the day, it's not that big a deal. I cried when I found out my ATAR because I worked so hard and I was so disappointed and now I literally can't remember what it was. Like I cannot for the life of me remember what my ATAR score was. Yeah, it really, really doesn't matter. So just enjoy your 11 and 12 because they're the funnest years and you get to like party and boys come into it. I didn't have any, like I didn't have any boyfriends or talk to any guys at this point in my life so that's why I have nothing to say about boys. I was like, I guess I was chatting to a few boys but nothing serious or anything like I was not for that I just loved being with my close group of girlfriends and they all had boyfriends which was a bit sad for me because it made me want one but in the end I'm glad I didn't because I did need one of those at that point then I moved to university so I moved from my small country town to university when I was just turned 18 I lived on residence the first year. Yeah, there was a lot of partying, like a ridiculous amount of partying. Our week is a whole week of drinking and not sleeping and just partying, getting with random people, all that kind of thing. It was a really, really different experience moving to res. Every single night there'd be a party. Every Tuesdays and Thursdays, like for the rest of the year, there was drinking nights so the music was pumping, you could not study at all. People were like peer pressuring you to come drink, they would like bang down your door, pretty much call you names if you didn't want to drink. And at the start I was really shy and I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't into the drinking scene so I didn't attend a lot of the parties which is kind of a bad thing and a good thing because that's how everybody else met each other. Like I met Fatima the first night that I moved in and because she was not a drinker like me, that's for how we became such like great friends. But everybody else was like best friends on the floor. There was 35 people on our floor. They were all really tight and always good drinking together. And me and Fatima were kind of like not a part of that just because we weren't huge drinkers. So it was kind of hard to make new friends because everyone was just partying and they were just party animals and we were not like that. I think when I got to like halfway through that year, we started to get more into it. Like, I got my braces off, so that made me a lot more confident to go out. And I just started being a lot more outgoing. I started my YouTube around that time, and that definitely helped my confidence levels. And I started just to go out more. And at that point, we met a close group of guy friends, and they are amazing. There was like five of them, and then few of us girls, we had lots of international friends at this time. We just had a really, really like close group of friends and that made university like a whole lot better. But yeah, and I met Andy at that time and all that kind of After thing. that year, me and Fatima moved out together with a few of our other friends and yeah, we just continued to do our normal uni thing. We cared about university more in the other two years. Like we didn't really try in the first year because it's so hard to concentrate and study. If you live on the res, there's just too much partying and too much music and all that kind of thing. So we definitely started to nail down and get a lot better grades the last two years. The experience as a whole, I would say it was great. The actual course I did, not so much because I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but the actual experience of being, like meeting new people, having a boyfriend, living with my best friend, like it was amazing and I highly, highly recommend it. If you do want to live on res, go for it. Even if you're not a party person, like there's going to be other people that are living on res the same as you that don't party that much. So you'll definitely meet friends. 
and they're friends that will last your lifetime. Like me and Panama are going to be tight for life. Our friendship is just so tight and she's always going to be a part of my life and even the other people that I've met on uni, like, they're going to be my friends for life. So it's definitely a lifetime experience and university was such a great experience, such a great time and I highly recommend it to all of you guys who are thinking about university. This video is gone already for like 15 minutes and I feel like I haven't actually said half the things I want to say but I also don't want this video to be like 20 minutes long. But basically I guess the gist is don't let peer pressure get to you, like drinking and boys and stuff. It'll happen when you're ready. Like I didn't have a boyfriend or even talk to a boy until I was 19 and that a lot of people start having boyfriends at like 15 but I just wasn't ready for any of that kind of stuff. And I'm so glad I waited because now I've been with him for three years and it's the most amazing relationship. And then partying, if you're not ready to drink, like don't do it. There's no reason why you should have to drink. If you enjoy those things, then go for it. But I'm just telling you guys that I'm not really that kind of party person. I feel like I've just rambled about crap the whole time, but I'll just have to see when I edit it. But if you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm more than happy to answer them for you. Please give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!